groups of teachers, state officials, parents, and kids gathered on October 12th to spread the word about Amendment 66. The kids of Colorado deserve a strong, quality public education. Will this rise in state taxes be the answer to our education problems? You know, are we going to be able to offer some of the electives that kids want to take that keep them in school and keep them excited about coming every day? Amendment 66 promises to improve K-12 through education. Supporters say more money in our schools means more teachers, smaller classes, better technology, and the restoration of art, music, and gym classes. Amendment 66 will keep Colorado's tax burden at the lowest in the nation. An average family in Colorado will pay $133 per year. This will generate an extra $950 million for our schools. But opponents argue that the amendment is misleading and will actually lead to more problems. Kids Before Unions is very concerned about this measure and hopes that people will vote it down. It's very unfair. Others against the amendment include the state treasurer, Walker Stapleton, Senator Greg Brophy, and the Douglas County School Board. Last year, Amendment 66, or Initiative 22, failed to get voters' support. And in 2011, the same happened with Proposition 103, which would have raised sales taxes for the next five years to fund education. But proponents are now saying that Amendment 66 will deliver what it promises. They argue that the money will go to the schools because the amendment is part of the state constitution. The money has to be spent in the classroom. But how will we know that the money is going to the right places? There is no clear language in the legislation that guarantees what the supporters are vouching. Every new dollar we send in under this new measure, the Jefferson County Schools would get only 56 cents back. The U.S. Department of Education has found that ever-increasing funding has not led to improved student performance. For now, the question remains whether the amendment will give what it is promising, and if it passes, it could be by a close margin. I'm Alexandra Mulligan, News Team Boulder.